Welcome to the lecture. Today we are going to calculate isotonicity calculations and calculate how many grams of sodium chloride is required to make 100 ml of 0.7 percent weight by volume solution of lidocaine hydrochloride. And the molecular weight is this. And the, the solution which you are going to prepare should be isotonic with the our main motor. It should be isotonic with the blood. Okay, so the LISO for both the drug and the sodium chloride is 3.4 and the freezing point body fluid is 0 0.5 to degrees centigrade so we're going to do a step by step so let's start the first thing is okay as you're aware the very first thing we were going to do is calculating the molarity for lidocaine hydrochloride solution okay so what's the formula you're aware of the form right c is equal to w that is in grams divided by the molecular weight in that is in grams per mole okay times 1000 ml per liter over volume that is in ml okay so let's figure out the units grams grams will cancel ml by ml will cancel and we are left with C is equal to moles per liter right all right let's get into the problem now so so when I say 0 0.7 percent solution what do you mean by that 0 0.7 grams in 100 ml right so this is 100 ml so now we have all the information which we need so weight is equal to 0 0.7 grams molecular weight is equal to molecular weight of lidocaine hydrochloride 270.8 grams per mole right and volume is what 100 ml so let's scroll it a little bit down so using this equation C is equal to what is the weight 0 0.7 grams over 270.8 grams per moles okay times 1000 ml per liter okay over 100 ml okay so what is the value 100 and 100 so we are left with 10 10 times 0 0.7 is 7 right divided by 270.8 and we are going to get cancel grams with grams ml with ml so we are left with moles and liters right so that is equal to moles or liter so 0 0.0258 moles per liter okay now why we calculated C why we calculated the molarity by the way why we calculated molarity that's a question you need to ask right so why we calculate C because we know we have to calculate a freezing point depression value okay so to calculate that we need to calculate C right okay so what is the LISO value by the way we got you want to scroll down a little bit to find out the LISO value so the LISO value for both the drug and the sodium chloride solution is 3.4 right so let's scroll down a little bit so this is 3.4 times there is a reason to find out the delta TF we calculated C just now so what is the value of C it's 0 0.258 0 0.0258 moles per liter right 0 0.0258 moles per liter right so freezing point depression value what delta TF what is the value of delta TF now 
so let's use the calculator if we have a calculator let's use it it is 0 0.08 degrees centigrade okay these are the units for the freezing point depression value and so why we have to find out delta tf so how this delta tf is related to the isotonicity as we discussed earlier okay so the colligator properties go through the you know the reading assignment that i gave you earlier so the colligator properties uh, you know such as uh, boiling point elevation or freezing point depression or osmotic pressure or vapor pressure lowering so these are all the colligative properties and as I mentioned they're dependent you know one one another so if one solution colligative property is 10 and if another solution colligative property is 10 then we can say the osmotic pressure of both the solutions is equivalent okay so that is the reason we are trying to find out the delta TF so I'm correlating with isotonicity so let's say let me give you an example solution A solution B so delta TF and delta TF so both are like let's say 10 and this is also 10 okay so that means their boiling point elevation okay and what else uh, freezing point depression uh, this is freezing point depression and osmotic pressure okay they are equal for both solution A and B okay so that is the reason we are going for delta TF rather than directly going for either osmotic pressure or isotonicity alright now what's the next thing we need to do so till now what we did is we found the molarity okay molarity and delta tf that is nothing but freezing point depression for lidocaine hydrochloride guys till now we find out the molarity and the, and the freezing point depression for lidocaine hydrochloride so next what we need to do we know that as I mentioned earlier the freezing point the freezing point of body fluid is 0 minus 0 0.52 degrees centigrade okay so how we can decrease 0 0.44 degrees centigrade so let's say you're, you're literally adding we are calculating lidocaine hydrochloride molarity and delta TF because we want to have the final solutions you know the freezing point depression of the final solution to be equivalent to 0 0.52 degrees centigrade that is freezing point of body fluid is 0 0.52 degrees centigrade but we know the freezing point of lidocaine hydrochloride is right now 0 0.08 degrees centigrade right so what we need to add or how much do we need to uh, add or what amount do we have to add to lidocaine hydrochloride solution to make it isotonic with the body fluids that is 0 0.52 degrees centigrade so we have to turn to sodium chloride so that is what we have given in our question right so how many grams sodium chloride are we going to add to make it isotonic with the body fluids so sodium chloride how much do we need to add we have no idea how much do we need to add and that's what we're going to find out how we're going to find out we know that the delta tf is 0 0.08 degrees centigrade for lidocaine hydrochloride and we know delta tf for let's say this is one and this is two is body fluids is 0 0.52 degrees centigrade for body fluids right next what we do so let's simply add these okay if we add this what is the final value so delta TF is 0 0.08 degrees centigrade 
minus 0 0.52 degrees centigrade so I'm just simply adding them so what is the final value that I'm getting 0 0.44 degrees centigrade okay so this is the difference actually this is the difference that I have right now so this is how much difference that I need to make up for okay so using this difference that is delta TF difference is 0 0.44 degrees centigrade mm -hmm. right so now let's say using the same equation delta TF is equal to LISO times C I'm gonna put because I already know 0 0.44 delta TF 0 0.44 degrees centigrade so LISO is 3.3.4 C is unknown let's say C is X or you know Y something like that X or Y whatever let's say here X so what is the final value the C is equal to 0 0.129 moles per liter okay so what is the C value by the way okay let me tell you that quickly so to cover or uh, to adjust the body uh, the isotonicity by 0 0.44 degrees centigrade guys so we need a molarity of 0 0.129 moles per liter okay so this to adjust this difference because we know the liter can hydrochloride has 0 0.08 degrees centigrade and the body fluid has a 0 0.52 degrees centigrade so and the difference is 0 0.44 degrees centigrade so to adjust this difference what I'm doing so I need a molarity of 0 0.129 moles per liter okay now that I know my molarity is 0 0.29 moles per liter uh, of NaCl by the way so I need because I'm adjusting my molarity how I'm adjusting the freezing point depression value by using sodium chloride right so so I know the molarity that I need to be adjusted is 0 0.129 moles per liter so I'm going to use the same equation which I have used previously that is nothing but C is equal to molecular weight oops C is equal to weight divided by molecular weight times 1000 divided by volume right so what is C 0 0.129 moles per liter is equal to amount in grams divided by 58.5 grams per moles remember we are adjusting the isotonicity by using sodium chloride right so that's why this is 58.5 don't confuse with the lidocaine hydrochloride don't add lidocaine hydrochloride uh, molecular weight here so it's 1000 ml per liter divided by how much ml we are preparing if you don't know this look back to the question we are preparing 100 ml guys right so 100 ml so now the amount is equal to 0 0.75 grams or 750 milligrams so this much amount you have to add you know to the lidocaine hydrochloride solution to make it isotonic with the body fluids so what is this method called this method is called L method that's what L method we did just now all right so if you still have any questions get back to me I'll explain you again